guys, how y'all doing today? Well, maybe if your name is Kate, y'all, does the squad, what's up? Come in, we got to talk, right? Whatever, maybe we ain't holding any bars. If anybody wants to play holy than now, I wish her well. Please go wish her well outside, baby. We talking, y'all sit down. Kate announced that she's completed her chemotherapy, but she also didn't say she was cancer-free. And she also put out a video that looks like her eulogy. It looks like a, something you play at a two, th circa mm, 2017 editing app, circa 2019 pin interest board, circa it's your obituary. Y'all, let's get into this. Cause we gotta talk about it. Kate announced she's free of cancer, but she also posted the weirdest weirdo creepy video that I have ever seen, right? This is weird. On top of that, Philip Lewis on Twitter said, London AP said, Kate Princess of Wales has completed chemotherapy and will return to a light program of public engagement. So before we get into that story, I wanna say this, why are they wording that way? Instead of just saying how she is now cancer free, now, some people said it's so they can have their other get out of jail free card. And whenever William decides to make Kate go missing, they have an excuse, right? But this is how all this stuff started. They are weird over, they get weird, the royals, over the weirdest things, right? Stuff, stuff like this is why where's Kate and Kate's missing was actually why it like kind of like went overboard and blew up. If they would have just acted normally instead of splitting hairs, no one outside of the Royal Watchers would have noticed. Like they lie at the drop of a hat. So just say she's cancer free instead of playing with games, like playing these dumb word games. I will say we're about to get into the video. Being cancer free doesn't mean the cancer won't come back like it often does. Again, Look at this video. And after I saw this video, I said, yeah, she ain't never going back to royal work. Listen to this. Hold on. Let me put this on the big screen. As the summer comes to an end, I cannot tell you. It looks like they are trotting out to bury someone. I don't know. It's just giving creepy. I know they think it looks idyllic. Maybe it is giving creepy. What a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment. Now, this was a dig at Megan because Megan said they wouldn't let her drive, took away her passport, her license, everything. So they do this weird thing to always show Kate driving to show that Megan couldn't drive, but the queen can drive wherever she wants or the queen to be. It's also weird because Kate looks healthier than she's looked in the last two years. I know everybody's saying cancer. Kate needs to share who her doctor is because you look healthier than we've ever seen you. Look the last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Life as you know it can change in an instant. And we've had to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and road unknown. And William and Kate are so weird together. I get it. Kate's walking with her head bowed. Maybe that's supposed to be like, oh, she's still delicate, but it's just weird. And look at the way Kate's trying to like push forward and William's holding her back. He don't like that woman walking in front of him. The cancer journey is complex, scary. This is the awkward language. Uh, Kate is literally like, because they're sitting there, and William, like, she's like, and he's patting her hand. They have the weirdest body language. Let's continue. Oh, wait. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Back to the, the cancer body journey language. is complex, scary and unpredictable for everyone, especially those closest to you. <laughs> William looking like, are there any rose bushes in this forest? With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities in a way you've never considered before. And with that, a new perspective on everything. Looks like the same old perspective. They're just filming. Hello? Hello? <laughs> This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be- William can't take it. Look at this man's face. He is being held hostage like, mm. and Kate is still giving him them evil eyes. But let's continue because I do want to say this as you watch it. I really hope everybody that's just like, she's a human being, feels stupid. Now, here's the thing. If Kate survived, it was God's will. Clearly, God willed it. 
But the fact that these people, she is a billionaire's wife. She has given zero back to the community. Even her going on engagements, she only goes if she gets paid, but she's working. She gives zero back to the community. On top of that, all this land they're on, they own it. They own billions. And I don't care what anybody says, they didn't give a penny to anybody underserved or in need that is actually going through cancer and has to work or go through this stuff. Again, they showed us who they are. It put it in a new perspective, what's important, money, power, and harassing Meghan and Harry. But let's continue. And be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted, of simply loving and being loved. The Middletons. That's right, because you know Carol was going to get a photo op. Doing what I can to stay cancer free is now my focus. Although I have finished chemotherapy, my path to healing and full recovery is long, and I must continue to take each day as it comes. I am, however, looking forward to being back at work. She made a weird obituary fan fiction novel of her own greatness back at work. All you do is show up and mumble, y'all. Y'all should have never made her feel important because, mm. And undertaking a few more public engagements in the coming months when I can. A few more public engagements in the coming months when she can, so we'll see her together at Christmas. Isn't it funny, in the beginning, a lot of people are like, oh my God, that's just rumors. But they told us, that's the thing about royals, when they come out with a story the first time, believe it, because then they walk it back after they see public outcry. They said Kate wouldn't even be close to even showing her face again until late fall, and she wouldn't be back until 2025. Despite all that's gone before, this is the healthiest and youngest Kate has looked in two years. And y'all really gonna tell me this woman didn't have plastic surgery, but maybe, you know, lesser mortals can't have chemo and plastic surgery. Into this new phase of recovery. I thought with a it new phase. <laughs> renewed sense of hope and appreciation of life. <laughs> William and I are so grateful. <laughs> for the support we've received so weird. and have drawn great strength from all those who are helping us at this time. <sighs> Everyone's kindness, empathy and compassion has been truly humbling. So weird. To all those who are continuing their own cancer journey, I remain with Guys. you, side by side, hand in hand. Out of darkness can come light. So let that light shine bright. This is so weird. And this must be a triumph of the goal that a billionaire's life had the best chance in the world and pulled it through and came up with a new face healthier and happier than we Because we're American, um, we look at the little logistics behind videos. First of all, who, let me just say this, right? They need to fire whoever's decision was to shoot this video in this way. How many fake happy scenes can you have? Do you know the level of weirdness to be like, ha <laughs> ha? skipping along for almost four minutes with a camera in their face? We all know what camcorders look like. This wasn't outtakes. It was literally propaganda about the way she's been challenged and now she's going to let her light shine. But what are you doing for everybody that actually funded your lifestyle? And I don't care about people saying, oh my God, let her heal. You heard her herself in the weird thing. So you don't have cancer anymore. You're healed. But in the coming months, you need time to recover. Take all the time you need. I know Rose is saying that anyway, right? What's my first thought? This is odd and creepy. Why did they choose to shoot the video in this style? They really overdid it with the random shots of Kate standing in the weeds and touching things like her soul's leaving her body. Second, 
her and William are super awkward together and it gives creepy secession vibes or a horror movie vibe. But let me tell you why I think that Kate, let me know in the comments what you think, but let me tell you why I think Kate's not gonna return to work anytime soon. We're just going to see, William's gonna be Zooming and Kate's gonna be making like horror movies circa pin interest 2019. Princess Kate is doing what I can to stay cancer free. It's not my focus. How do you focus on staying cancer free? I'm confused because if you know it, can you please share it with the National Health Services? Can you share it with American? Can you share it with the cancer uh, sufferers of the world? How do you stay cancer free? Because we haven't been able to figure that out in America. How do you do what you can to stay cancer free? Listen, let's get into this. Um, I'm now do I'm doing what I can to say cancer free is now my focus. Uh, although I finished chemotherapy, my path to healing a full recovery is long and I must continue to take each day as it comes. I'm however, looking forward to being back to work and undertaking a few more public engagements in the coming months when I can. Listen, let me tell you something. When are we going to find out what really happened? Who's going to write a tell-all book? I'm guessing when George is king, we'll actually find out what happened this last year. Do I think that Kate is psychologically depleted? I don't know. I just know that everything they've told us up to this point has been exposed to be lies. Um, even the whole where's Kate thing where I really thought they did something to her because they literally were putting out fake AI videos. Um, again, uh, to me, this seems like an obituary. And when I say obituary, I mean of knowing Kate as a queen. Remember there was, remember I said they always put an article in to let you know what they're thinking. Remember there was an article that said William is beside himself now that Kate is sick and she's re she's refusing to do her royal duties. He doesn't know what that looks like. I think maybe this is a phase out. Maybe Kate's going to be Royal Lodge. I really don't know. I just know... <laughs> This was weird. This was creepy. So that said, it was definitely on brand for the Windsors. Um, again, the affection, they overdid it. They overdid the happiness. All I saw was a camcorder in their face and they're like, is this thing on? As if they're taping it themselves when there is a whole camera crew following behind them and doing all this stuff. They can't be serious. We all know what dad's cam looks like anyway, right? Um, I do know that at the end of the day, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.